a very good morning to you all. This is Lance and Richard. Good morning. <laughs> We've got us both together today, which is a great treat for me. It's really nice to uh, see Richard going fast. Well, almost as fast as me. So we're going to show you what the piece are like today. We're going to talk a little bit about how it is in town, the regulations, and we're really enjoying it. So we're just going to show you how good it is. And uh, thank you, Richard. Just show you this view all the way round. Piece number five today. Nice sunny bit here. We were on the first gondola pretty much, weren't we, Richard? Indeed, as always. And you're enjoying it, aren't you? Very much so. Yeah. Well, show us your skills. And uh, about another week before we get some fresh snow down, right? uh, I think so, yes. Another week before fresh snow. Uh, but we'll see. It's a bit too early to be confident on that fresh snow. Yeah. If you've been out, did you enjoy it? Just to say if you're a snowboarder and you uh, are using the booking, Bansky Lap, Bansky Block, then of course if you get advanced boards you can have a powder board for those powder days. Change for the best board for the conditions. Same with skis. As you all know, I love wide skis for the fresh powder. And uh, just make sure you can get the most out of it. If you are a fairly advanced skier or rider, we've really got the freedom here. It just feels fantastic. Everyone very happy. It's a Saturday, so it's getting very busy now. There was some wind closing things earlier, but now opened up. Upper. It's a little bit hard here. Upper. Oh. Yes. Uh, probably not the best place to be filming, to be honest. Someone's come a cropper there. Uh, Yeah, so I tend to go quiet when I'm focusing on the, on the filming and the skiing. But here we go, this is where we merge off that little steep bit. And I want to go left. So you've got to look left. And I indicate, whoa, like that. There's Richard. And there's the dog. Oh, excellent. I forget his name. Yeah. To do a six person lift. And we can glide nicely through here. Onto the blue one. Ultimately takes us down to the town. So some people parking there at Chiliganica. The car park was pretty much full at eight o'clock this morning. But of course you can't ski down. Not too bad a queue, first thing I saw. Not at all bad. There were taxis there. I do really recommend Avoiding weekends, but if there's a queue, just take a taxi. Sort of price that into your equation. If you fill up the taxi, round about 10 lever head. Budget for 20 and you'll, you'll be fine, typically. Some camper vans, huh? Hmm. Beautiful sunshine here. Always a good idea just to be a little bit careful on this spot. Back in the shade. Okay, so lessons getting very full for the UK February half term school holiday weeks. So uh, hurry up. Still some private lesson bookings for the morning, 9 to 11. Not many left though in February. So 
Now, COVID. Oh, I really like to keep on my leg and not, I'm not giving advice here, just sort of helping you do your own research. But uh, I'm hopeful that there will be some clarity for UK travellers who have children aged between 12 and 17 who struggle to get the relevant documentation. There's been representations made by the British Embassy in Sofia to try and fix that, so let's hope they do. Smile for the camera. They give up taking photos of me. This guy is a little bit uncertain. And here we go, here's the school meeting spot by the big piece map. Gondola lift there. Let me just show you. If you can just see the, the beginners drag lift and behind here more beginners areas. Restaurants here. All good. Serving quite good pizza actually there. And there is the famous, absolutely famous World Cup downhill course. Skiing very well today. We had some wind to start off with. A bit slow to open up the top, but it's all good now. Really nice conditions. I expect similar conditions up and down for most of next week. As Richard said, we could be in for, we could be in for, uh, we could be in for some more snow, but it's a bit too early to be sure really, isn't it, Richard, Indeed. on the snow front. Now, an announcement today. We're going live with uh, deliveries. Uh, the first restaurant is... Uh, Irish it's Irish Harp. Harp, sorry, yes, so go to order.bg slash Irish Harp and order your takeaway. Open from takeaway orders from four o'clock, although you can order before then, maybe two o'clock it all opens, but deliveries from four till 6.30. So last orders at 6.30 online, order.bg slash Irish Harp. Amazing burgers with real meat. Now beef can be a real problem here in Bulgaria, so you know you're getting proper, genuine Irish beef there. And also the steak and Guinness pie is very good, isn't it? So that's very famous. So look, if you want to be careful, why don't you stay in a few nights and have a takeaway and just have your family together, uh, reduces the risk. Now, if you're watching this, I'd like to know if you've been here and you had a problem, you had a positive test, uh, or you, sorry, you came down with COVID uh, whilst you're here and have had to quarantine, you couldn't get on the plane. Uh, I haven't heard of anyone yet, but there must be someone. So let me know in the comments if you've been down here, been to uh, Bansko here, and unfortunately got sick. Uh, so I haven't heard of anyone, which is good news, but there must have been some people, I guess. Um, most of all, though, stay safe on the piece, particularly when it gets a bit busy. Got a bit busy there, didn't it, Richard? It very icy patch as well. There was an icy patch, there was an accident. So if it's, uh, yeah, just be a bit careful uh, when it's a bit steeper on these days. It's frozen overnight. It can get a little bit... Uh, uh, solid. Uh, so the town has been a little bit quiet this week, hasn't it? Relatively. Very much so, yes. uh, but I know many of you are on your way to the airport, uh, and some are coming next week. So I think it's going to be busier. Uh, Amigos is open. Those who want a, uh, a busy time, uh, you've got entertainment in the usual so places. Nine thirty in the evening. Yes, yes, nine thirty. A bit late. I think they should do it earlier for the children. Uh, that's my view. Anyhow, anything to rant about? Oh, I have. There was a guy in a lift with a speaker in his backpack. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I knew you would. Actually, I didn't like it too. Luckily, the music uh, wasn't too bad. It was Lenny Kravitz and then a little bit of um, Dire Straits. So it was just about bearable. But he was right next to me on the lift. This is called externalities. When you do something and it affects everyone, it gives like you pleasure. Smoking. Exactly, like smoking. Let's rant about smoking. Uh, if someone smokes on the lift and I do this on a chairlift, I ask them to put it out. Or if, actually, I try and do it before they light it. Uh, so the smoking police are here. <laughs> uh, anything else, Richard? What no, can we say? No, all good. Nothing, nothing to complain about. <laughs> there must be some more. No, no. no. <laughs> OK, well, that's it. We're all very happy. If you're coming out, uh, have a smooth journey. Remember to up there. Book on banscoblog.com. So it's book.banscoblog.com. That's where you get your discounted private transfer, your ski hire, snowboard hire, and your lessons. So get doing that. And you can book restaurants in the app, get all the information, chat about everything, including COVID. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. And do, do like, share, subscribe.
Bye for now. That's a really lovely view. We'll leave them with that.